Hello my friends, are you ready for some serious downhill mountain biking? Because that's what we're gonna do today. This is the first time I've ever been here. This is the Monarch Crest Trail. It's an epic ride. Everybody in Colorado talks about it and I am excited. And I'm not here alone. It's not just me. I'm here with my friend Jeff. Hey. I met Jeff on the Great Divide this spring. We were going different directions. We just said hi and bye. We met for the first time. We stayed in touch. Then I saw him on the Colorado Trail. We said essentially hi and bye. We were going different directions. But today, my friend, we're going the same direction. How you feeling? I'm sore. I'm sore. How great you feeling now. today, bud? Dude, we're out here about to do an epic. Feeling great. What are we There's in not a cloud in the sky. I'm wearing a t-shirt at 10,000, 11,000 feet That's in right. Colorado. Ready to mountain bike some major downhill. And no, I am not riding the Priority 600X. Today I'm riding my beefy Reeb Squeeb, which has 160 millimeters of travel in the back, 150 in the front. It's made in Colorado. I got myself a Made in the USA bike. I know you're all thinking, why isn't it Pinion and Gates? Well, I would love it to be Pinion and Gates, but they just don't make a Pinion and Gates version. So this is about 35 miles, mostly downhill. I don't really know a lot about all the details. It's gonna take us maybe four or five hours, right, Jeff? Yep, four or five hours, 6,000 feet of down, 2,000 feet of up. What? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be good. After the Colorado Trail this summer, we deserve this. Yes. We deserve this downhill. We deserve some downhill. For Here we go. <laughs> no crashes, no flatties, no whammies. Yeah. 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 Let's go have some fun, buddy. Yeah, yeah buddy. We're mountain biking. But before we go downhill, we gotta earn it. Starting off by going up. Whew. And look at that. We're on the Colorado Trail and Continental Divide Trail. I don't know how many of you recognize this, but I pushed my bike up this hill on the Colorado Trail. <sighs> yeah, but I remember this, this morning was the freezing cold morning, pushing through all those trees, it was really cold, and getting up here and seeing this view, it was so green then. And now it's brown and yellow and it's still beautiful, but man, this brings back some very vivid memories of the Colorado Trail. So you're from Iowa. Sure am, boy, how'd you, get, how'd you get into mountain biking? Good question. I moved to Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I love biking. I was a rag boy, got into bike touring, 
and uh, mountain biking is my next favorite thing to do in the world. So, and I live in one of the best states to do it, beautiful yeah. Colorado. This is really cool. I just met an official guy <laughs> from the Colorado Trail Foundation. How you doing, bud? Hey, pretty good. Yeah, my name's Darren Raditz. I'm the field operations manager for the Colorado Trail. Um, yeah, love meeting all the hikers, hearing stories. We're out here today looking at a reroute. Uh, main priorities are just getting the trail off some roads and unsustainable sections. So, yeah, yeah that, that's the job. And so yeah. the Colorado Trail is about 500-ish miles long. People bike it and hike it. What do you do to keep it in tip-top condition? Because I was so impressed this summer with the condition of it. Yeah, yeah. So we have about 20 volunteer crews, um, and then we have close to 100 trail adopters um, who, on average, do about eight eight miles of trail. And um, yeah, just getting out there there in the early times, in the late season, um, and really like thousands of hours each year um, of volunteer work to keep it in good shape. And, you know, people love this trail like you. People people hiked the trail um, decades ago, fall in love with it, and, and just want to pay it forward. When was the trail established? How long has it been around? So it was back in the, the 80s. It's a really cool story. This gal, um, Goody Gaskill, mover and shaker, um, just decided that she wanted to wanted a trail, a long-distance trail in Colorado. Um, had been out in Europe and hiked some similar trails, and and uh just just kind of by word word of mouth and um and really good food put together a lot of trail crews and and got it going in the 80s so. how can we help can we donate and stuff like that yep um check out our website you can donate um we're in desperate need of volunteers especially younger folks um to get out here and uh keep the trail in good shape so this yeah, is really cool he's got a colorado up. trail belt buckle i don't yeah. mean to zoom in on your crotch but that's really cool <laughs> So this part of the trail right here is overlapping with what I rode this summer on the Colorado Trail. It's fun to be back. <laughs> and it's fun to be back on a bike that doesn't weigh a ton. <laughs> No crashies, no flatties. Chunky! You know what's funny is that section was pretty technical and chunky and I rode that on my hardtail fully packed down bike and I was like wow I can't believe I did that because it was hard on my full suspension. <laughs> How'd that feel for you? It was awesome. Yeah. Rowdy and fun. It is quite an experience riding this trail on a full suspension bike with lots of travel and uh, no bike packing bags. It makes quite a difference. It's fun. Go uphill. That's okay. We like going up. The steep stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a little bouncy. So we came flying down that downhill, probably one of the fastest downhills ever. And I see this blue bus off in the distance and it's not just a blue bus. What, we, what do we have going on here? Today we're doing a little bit of trail magic. We're uh, at an intersection of the CDT, the CT, and uh, a couple different bike trails that come through. And what we're doing is we're offering some free tacos and some water fill ups and uh, a casual cold beer to anybody coming through on these long hikes and long rides and just trying to boost morale and, and love on some people. Right, and what inspired you to do this? So uh, we're not actually hikers. We live full time in this bus. We travel nomadically. And last year we dropped off a guy uh, that was in the last 30 mile push of doing the calendar year triple crown. So that's the AT, the CDT and the PCT all in one year. And uh, it's impossible not to fall in love with the story. So uh, the romance of it was there and we just wanted to be a part of it and sit on a trail and love on some people and just boost them around and try to get them through it. This is a sweet dog. What's your dog's name? Clyde. Clyde. Hi, Clyde. You're a sweetie, buddy. You're a gentle giant, aren't you, buddy? Rocco. Hi, Rocco. Hi, Rocco. Yeah, buddy. Every time I meet a trail magic person with a big heart, it just gives me hope and humanity. I hope it, it follows everyone down the hill, too. Yeah. So. Well, that's the idea. You Somebody yeah. gets trail magic, and they're like, well, I want to provide trail magic someday, too. Yeah. And they, you know, someday down the line, they set up a trail magic set up, and yeah, yeah man. I love it. Got the Iowan with deep thoughts <laughs> sitting by the river. How many times have you done this trail? I think this is like number six or something like that now. Well, what makes you keep coming back? Dude, it's an epic, man. It's uh, an adventure, it's good exercise, and it's fun downhill. Oh, there's actually aspens on the ground here. Pretty. So Jeff says we're on the dream Rainbow Trail now. Sounds like a nice trail. left no big deal <laughs> yeah do they call this the rainbow trail because it goes up down up down up down rainbows Man. 
water uphill. <laughs> oh, that's a big uphill. This one looks painful. These little uphills are hard. Ugh, they're so hard. They're not like not that steep, but they don't last long, but man, they're punchy. It's nice on a trail like this, which is essentially a lot, a lot of downhill, very steep downhill where it's just bam, 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 kind of noisy and, you know, uh, disorienting. It's nice to stop and just chill for a second and listen. What's up, hombre? Just resting. How you feeling today? Good, but a little tired by now. We're near the end, so good time for a rest. That's right. A little bit of pushing. It's okay. Does this mean we only have three more miles of dirt? Oh man. Okay, Mr. Reeb, let's do these final three in style with my friend Hefe. Chunk, chunk, chunk. One final chunk. Point. Ah. <laughs> That's all right. Is that it? We did the. We did it. And now we ride a road. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Cheers, buddy. I've been waiting a long time for this. There really is nothing better than a cold, generic LaCroix <laughs> after a long ride. It's so good. Mm. I can't thank that you. generic taste. The yeah. generic water <laughs> taste. I can't thank you enough for uh, bringing me here, bud, and Absolutely. showing me the ropes. This is awesome. Yeah, man. It's kind of funny when an Iowa boy shows a Colorado boy one of the most <laughs> iconic Colorado trails, but that's how it worked out this time. An Iowa boy with a car. <laughs> that helps. Can I have a ride home? Yeah. <laughs> we are two and a half hours away from Boulder. Sorry, but, uh, bud. You got to call mom this time. You got to call mom. <laughs> come get me. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. Please like and subscribe and tell all your friends. And he's going to tell all his friends, right? Absolutely. Yeah, he's going to tell his friends and his uncles. You have any weird uncles? I have two friends and a mom and a dad. That's all right. It. Yep. Tell them to subscribe. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you down the road, right? And check it out, we're right next to a Tesla charge station in case anybody's driving through. Come to Poncha Springs, charge up your Tesla. Woo!